There's been an awful, awful wrong here. And it's more for me, it's time to make it right. Tonight, more women are coming forward with sexual assault allegations against a former Modesto youth pastor. Pastor Les Huey's alleged crimes date back to the 70s, and his accusers span from Modesto to his current church in Arizona that has now placed him on leave. New tonight, CBS 13 Sherman Roger spoke to one of the alleged victims, and she's live from the newsroom with more on this. Sherman? Yeah, Tony and Adrian, this all goes back 40 years. Pastor Les Huey's alleged victims say he sexually abused and manipulated them, but Huey is responding to the allegations, saying everything that happened was consensual. It would be very much a tearful episode after each time. Tracy Epler spoke to us via Skype. She is one of the now seven women who have come forward in interviews with the Modesto Bee, accusing former Modesto youth pastor Les Huey of sexual abuse. It would start very innocent, very casual, either a dinner or a, a youth group meeting. Then one girl would stay, and the evening would wind down. Uh, his wife would go to bed. And then the back ribs would start. And then the back ribs would go further. Epler says she had an ongoing two year sexual relationship with Huey back in the 1970s when she was 17. A relationship she says she was manipulated into given Huey's position and charm. It was fear. It was not knowing what was happening or why. She and other alleged victims accused First Baptist Church of Modesto of covering up Huey's behavior. And instead of addressing their complaints, she says the church threw Huey a celebratory send off. The victims were not talked with or cared for. They found him another job and sent him off. Huey released a statement to the Modesto Bee admitting that he sinned and that he engaged in consensual relationships with fellow college age staff. Meanwhile, the current leader of First Baptist, that is now Cross Point Community Church, who was not with the church when Huey was on staff, tells CBS 13, while these things are incredibly painful to hear, we're also thankful that they've been brought out into the light. Epler says it's um, time now to make things right. By me making it right can help other girls make it right, and he can be not in a place where it happens again. And Highlands Church in Arizona, Huey's current workplace, has placed him on a leave of absence as it conducts a thorough investigation. Something we'll continue to follow. Sharin, thanks.